have already learnt what prepositions are. So, a preposition is a word that shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and the other words in a sentence. Now, today we are going to learn about the preposition on. You have already learned about some of the uses of this particular preposition. Today we are going to learn about some new uses of this preposition on. The Bhakra Nangal Dam is on the river Satlej. So, on is the preposition in this case. And what does it tell us? It tells us that this Bhakra Nangal Dam is not only above the river Satlej, but it is also touching the river. So, as you can see that this is the Bhakra Nangal Dam. And it is not only above the river, if this is the river, this is above, but it is also touching the river. So, you can see the water which is touching the dam. So, here on means something being above something else and also touching the surface of it. They went to Venice on the ferry. Now, here on is the preposition and it is used to show the mode of transport. So, they went to Venice on the ferry. So, went on the ferry. That means they have journeyed using the transport ferry. He is on duty till midnight. Now, here on is the preposition and it is used to show the state or condition. So, when I say he is on duty, I mean right now what is his state? He is working. Or he is involved in the duty. So, on is giving us the sense of state or condition. My father was on his phone all evening. So, on is the preposition once again. And what does it tell us? It tells us about somebody's involvement. So, when I say my father was on his phone, I mean he was involved or he was working or he was using this phone all evening. So, on here means to use something or be involved with a particular thing. The shop is on fire. Now, here as well, on is the preposition and it is once again showing us the state or condition. So, right now the shop has caught fire as we can see in the picture. So, it is showing the present condition of the shop. So, the shop is right now on fire. The young birds depend on their parents for food. Now, what we need to look here? It's that the preposition is on. But before that, we have the verb depend. Now, with this verb depend, we always use this preposition on. And together, they mean need or necessity. So, when I say the young birds depend on their parents for food, I mean the young birds need their parents in order to procure their food or their parents are necessary for these young birds to provide them with food. So, here depend on together gives us the meaning of necessity or need. They put the blame on him. So, here on is the preposition and we have to note one more thing that is the noun blame. When we use blame on somebody, we mean to hold that person responsible for something bad. So, when I say they put the blame on him, I mean that he has been held responsible for doing something wrong by them. So, here as you can see, maybe this boy has done something wrong and these two people are holding him responsible for that or they are putting the blame on this boy. I would like to congratulate you on your success. So, here on is the preposition and when I say congratulate you on your success, I mean congratulating you because of your success or for your success. So, it is giving us the sense of a reason. So, what is the reason for congratulating? It is your success. 
they spent all their savings on this house. So here on is the preposition. And when I say they spent all their savings on this house, I mean to say the object that has been used for spending all their savings. So what have they done? They have spent all their savings on this house or for this house. So the house is the object for which they have spent all their savings. This vehicle runs on solar energy. Now on is the preposition and note the verb just before it. It is runs. So when I say runs on something, I mean what fuel is being used by the vehicle to operate. In this case, it is solar energy. So a vehicle running on solar energy means the vehicle operates using solar energy or the vehicle runs using solar energy. On our way back home, we bought ice creams. So here on is the preposition and it has been used at the beginning of a sentence. So here on our way back home means during our journey back home or while we were returning home. So on is giving us the meaning of in the course of something. In this case it is the journey back home. My mother is reading a book on gardening. Now here on is the preposition and it is used to show the subject of the book. So what is the subject of this book that mother is reading? It is gardening. So it relates the book with its subject. The book is about gardening or the book is on the subject of gardening. Now that we have learned about the different uses of the preposition on, so can you fill in the blank with the appropriate preposition? The sentence is, we enjoyed our ride dash horseback and the options are on and for. So what will be the correct answer? Well, if you look at this sentence, you see we enjoyed our ride dash horseback. So we have this ride and we have horseback. That means it is telling us about the mode of traveling. So when we talk about modes of transport or means of traveling, which preposition do we use? We use on. So we enjoyed our ride on horseback. If we say we enjoyed our ride for horseback, it does not make any sense. So for is the wrong option. The correct answer would be we enjoyed our ride on horseback. So today we have learned about so many uses of the preposition on. Now this must be very confusing for you at times. So what you need to do is look at more examples using the preposition on and also try and use the preposition on in different ways in your sentences and see if you have understood the correct usage. We will learn about more prepositions very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Math, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.